I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I have a very special guest. We have Gio from Gio's Wave. And if you don't know who he is, let me just give you a little hint into his life. Look at these curls. This is amazing. Drop the mic. <laughs> so you have your own YouTube channel, right? Yeah, so my YouTube channel is Gio's Wave. I uh, focus on men's lifestyle. Of course, my hair is the main focal point as of now, mm -hmm. but I also focus on fitness, fashion, and just everyday life. Awesome! So we have some very fun things for you guys today. As you can see, we both have curly hair, but my hair is like super tight curls and I used to think it was long until I sat next to this guy. <laughs> now my hair is short today, um, but then he has a very different curl pattern, probably different techniques. So we're going to do like a curly hair advice swap and we'll see what I do with my hair versus what you do with your hair. Absolutely. Cool? Absolutely. So I had some of you guys write me and ask me questions. So I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy phone and see what you guys wanna know. Oh yes, the sleep routine. How do you sleep with all of that hair? What do you do? Well, I have actually two routines. Okay. If I'm not gonna be wearing my hair out the next day, typically I just throw it in a bun with the no tie bun. So okay. I just use my hair and tie it up in a knot. Wow. You have that much hair you could literally tie I your own hair in a knot. I can not tie my hair in a knot without I can't do any that. <laughs> Okay, um, cool. The second one, if I'm if I am gonna be wearing my hair out, I sleep under my hair. If that makes sense. So basically, I sleep under my hair. Doesn't make sense. So I don't all know. your hair is like to one side. All my hair. Literally, I lay my hair on the pillow next to me. So your your hair has its own pillow. Yeah, my hair literally <laughs> has its own pillow. That's the only That's way. Awesome. <laughs> and for my sleep routine, I have two sleep routine videos you guys could check out. But if you have short hair, I would recommend using a satin bonnet. If not, I put my hair into a pineapple on the very top of my head. That way when I take it out, it just falls flat out like this. This is my day five hair, and that's how I'm able to do that because of the pineapple. <laughs> After we've milked our curls for as long as possible, we eventually have to wash them. Right. So how often do you wash your hair? So on the fourth day, I do a co-wash, and the following week is when I actually wash my hair with shampoo and water. Perfect. I personally wash my hair once a week, um, and I just shampoo, conditioner every time I wash. I actually don't co-wash, I know a lot of people do, but it's always worked for me. I just always make sure that my shampoos are sulfate-free so it might, doesn't, doesn't dry out my hair. And when I am usually milking my hair to like day four, day five, I actually refresh my hair every day. So for my refresh routine, I just use a little bit of water and a little bit more product, and that's how my curls are able to last the entire day. How do you refresh your curls? Um, so I actually refresh my curls within the cold wash. Okay. So on that fourth day is when I actually refresh. I don't refresh day one, day two, day three. Really? Day four is when I actually refresh because I do the whole entire cold wash, and then it doesn't get refreshed again until I actually wash my hair. Oh. So for you to refresh, you have to rewash. I have to rewash. Because as a, as a guy, I actually like the frizz and I okay. actually like how messy my hair actually looks. So day two, you literally wake up and go. Like and you I don't touch go. your hair at all. Nope. That's nice. And then when you do wash your hair and you need to dry your hair, how long does it take to dry this beautiful mane? Ooh. Four to six hours. Oh my god. Four to six so hours. So your day is pretty much planned around your wash day. Yes. Like your friends want to hang out, I can't, my hair is drying all day. All day. <laughs> Unless sometimes I actually would just get in a car and just drive with all the windows down. Really? Yes. So you use your car windows instead of a diffuser? Yes. Pretty much. Okay. I'd rather air dry than use a diffuser. I would love to see you in the car with all <laughs> the windows. Blowing everywhere. <laughs> you should get a convertible. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. That is like a life I goal right there. <laughs> Next question, do you use a hair pick? Of course, I love my hair pick. I cannot go anywhere without it. My hair would be super flat. And I just use it to add you know, some extra volume every now and then. Just looking extra big. What about you? I do not use a hair pick. <gasps> you don't use a pick? <laughs> no. How could you not use a pick? Too much to pick out. <laughs> and I feel like I would just do a terrible job of picking it out. I feel like. But do you like this part to be high or is this as high as you want to this go? This is like, this is the highest I think I, I can go. I mean, I'll shake it out with my hands, but that's the most I'll ever do. A very obvious question. How did you get your hair so long? So when I was younger, I actually was using this one oil that my mom bought and it worked out. It worked out really well. Like if you for scalp massages? Yeah. Or you put it, like apply it to your hair every day? Or what would you do with it? Well, she'll apply it to my scalp. Oh, okay. Not so much my hair itself. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you want to check out that video, by the way, it's on Gio's Wave. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, for seven years, I was using that product and my hair grew. Do you also get like haircuts or trims every so often to make your hair grow? Do you think that has something to do with your length? 
So I typically get a trim. Okay. I tri typically trim five inches off. Once five a year. inches? Once a year. Five. And you do it yourself or do you go someplace? I go to the place my mom suggests me to go. So your mom is a, is a very mom, big factor yeah, in your she beautiful hair. She plays a huge factor, by the way. Shout out to mom. Shout out to Thanks, moms. mom. <laughs> I also cut my hair maybe once a year. How much do you trim off? Less than an inch or an inch. <laughs> but. Unlike you, I'm kind of hold on to my, my length. How was your actual curl type before? Well, I don't know my curl type, but when my hair was shorter, there was a time where my hair was shorter. And what is short <laughs> to you, first of all? Uh, it was about like... See where right he's here. pointing? For short? Yeah, it's, it's right here. And yeah, no, my hair definitely was way more curlier. Right now, it goes curly, wavy, curly. Yeah. I would think that these like smaller curls right out your scalp are pretty close to mine, like they're super tight ringlets, oh, yeah. so that would be like a type 3C. Mm -hmm. And then in the middle is actually almost like a 3A, and then you're right, it does end off at like oh, yeah. a 3B. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use one product, two product, eight products? What's your routine like? Max three products. Three, okay. Max three products. Conditioner, two styles. For me, I always like to use one product, and one product kind of girl, so I just use either just a gel or just a cream. Um, if I do mix two, it's like max two. So if yeah, I'm using two products, you're only using three. For those of you using like five, six, seven products, you obviously don't need to. Like, look at all this hair. If he doesn't have to use that many products, neither do you. <laughs> I'm a firm believer, less is more. Yes, less is more. Okay, next question, how long have you been growing out your hair and would you ever cut it? So I've been growing my hair out for about 10 years, maybe this is the 11th year. Okay. Would I ever cut it? No shorter than my shoulders. So since your hair is so long, how long do you think it actually is? I would say about 25 inches. 25 inches. Let's oh, find yes. out. I actually have a uh, measuring tape. Just so happy to have a measuring Just tape. Just so happy, not because I like really want to know or anything. Okay, so we had to stand up for this because his hair is so long and it's still not all fitting. Oh, excuse me, in frame. So let me try from the very roots of your hair. Here we go. Let's just go right there. Can you, hit, can you hold that? Yeah. Okay, starting okay. there. And I'm gonna go straight down. Lower it. It's not on my tippy toes. <laughs> okay, not even pulling it. It is 33 inches. And then if we actually pull it so it's a little bit straighter. How do you function? I don't. All right. Look at look at this. Look at this. Let's go this way. <laughs> I need more measuring tape. <laughs> um, 41. 41. 41 inches, wow. everyone. Now I know. Don't talk. <laughs> What's mine? <laughs> well, that is insane. So now that we know your hair is ridiculously long, 41 inches, uh, I only can imagine how you do your curly hairstyles. So on Gio's video, we are going to do a curly hairstyle race, oh, yeah. where I'm gonna try some of my hairstyles on Gio. Gio's gonna give me some of his on mine. So make sure you go over to his channel right now and watch our second video on how we do this curly hairstyle race. And make sure you come back next week and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. My social media is at Ms. Bianca Renee on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And yours is? At Geo Filipino Hair. And I'll put all that in the description box below, as well as a link to his channel. So make sure you subscribe for his amazing hair tip tricks and techniques as well. I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.